Hey there, Aries. Welcome to reading for the week of May 20th. This week, we're gonna jump right in here. Now you have this electric eel spirit says, bring your ideas to life. You have this badger spirit says, be fearless, be bold. And that's you right there is being fearless, being bold, right? Making things happen. It's funny you have that electric eel and then you start with the tower. The tower is striking the top of the tower. As I always say, the tower is not necessarily a bad thing especially in this situation. You know, this could be a sudden insight. The tower rep can represent a sudden uh, flash of insight, like a light bulb moment or something like that. And with that electric eel spirit, it kind of suggests to me that you could be getting like a sudden idea or a sudden inspiration. Uh, and it could make it, it could, you know, cause a tower moment, but a tower moment can just be a change. You know, a tower moment is a change to your reality. These people are, you know, the whole point of the tower is that they've been ignoring reality and they're being brought back down to reality on the card. So again, I feel for most of you that the tower is kind of saying that you are, the tower moment you're having is like a spark or a sudden inspiration. And I would pay attention to that. It could lead to a very quick change in your life. Like you might have to make a quick decision or, you know, maybe you just, you know, kind of the funny thing that's popping into my head here is that maybe you just got a job, but now you're about to, um, you know, leave the job you just got for something else. You know, it kind of gives me those vibes where it's like you just did something and you're about to do it really quickly again, or maybe like you just moved and you're about to move again or something like that. But um, I would pay attention to those light bulb moments and I would be fearless, be bold, like make it happen, right? Don't be afraid to, um, you know, make that quick change. Uh, like I said, the tower doesn't have to be a bad thing. Uh, you have the moon here as well. The moon can represent you not being sure where you're going. You know, nowhere on the moon does it say stop. There's this path straight down the middle and it terminates in some mountains in the background there. The mountains in the background can represent like an achievement uh, or something to overcome. But again, it's always an achievement. Mountains in the tarot, yeah, they can represent an obstacle, but you know, they also represent climbing to the top of the mountain to have an achievement. So again, uh, I feel like some of you like just did something and you're about to do it again. Or if that's not the case, you're having a light bulb moment or a sudden insight this week uh, that is going to be very powerful, it looks like. Like it's gonna lead to a powerful change. You have the Queen of Wands, and Queen of Wands, of course, is about being fearless, being bold, uh, really making something happen. So I feel that, again, embracing that bold, fearless energy is gonna be very, very important for you this week. Uh, she just kind of ha comes up with an idea and she works towards it, and she learns as she goes. And not only that, you go up Eight of Wands to the Page of Wands. So I feel for a lot of you, that you, again, you could be getting this sudden insight and it could be leading to a quick change. Even if we go this way, you know, eight of wands is your center card and eight of, the center card and nine card spread is the most important card in the spread. And the eight of wands is a quick change or a quick conclusion or a quick success. So something is happening very quickly here and it looks like an idea that leads to something else. Uh, with the page, uh, sorry, with the uh, tower, you have the queen of wands. So there you go. Uh, like I said, be fearless, be bold. I mean, she is literally the card of being fearless and being bold in the tarot. She represents needing to be fearless and bold and needing to make big moves. So I feel like you are kind of making moves here. Uh, if you want love, by the way, this could be love like coming in for you or communication and love down to the lovers. And uh, yeah, I feel like someone finds you attractive. You know, the queen, queen of wands is a card of seduction. With the moon, you have the nine of swords. You know, this could be a change to get out of a situation as well. Like I said, nine of swords is a never ending nightmare. So nine of swords can represent being being in a nightmare, waking up, being stuck in the nightmare. And so some of you could be realizing, you know, again, if this is, this is like a job that you just got that you're changing, you could be realizing like, hey, you know what? I realize that this is not gonna work out for me. So I need to make a quick change right now and move on to something else. And it's like, that that's really the vibe I get here is that you're just going from like one thing to another. Or you're quickly, you're making a quick change uh, to avoid a nightmare. With the Queen of Wands, you have the Ten of Wands. Uh, for some of you, it's like you're realizing that you already did the work as well. So like, let's say you start dating a person or have already, you could be realizing that the, that you've already like learned the lessons that this new person is about to teach you. So, you know, again, maybe you're kind of like, you know what, I've been there, done that, and now it's time for me to not not do it again. And you could be making, that, that could be why uh, this change is happening. Uh, for a lot of you, I feel that all your work is adding up. It's like you and Libra. Um, I just, I literally just said this to Libra, but I think that uh, the two of you are kind of like adding up all the work that you've done in the past and you're channeling it into one thing. So it's like you've learned a lot of lessons and now you're taking those lessons and you're, you're, you're implementing it into like a new direction in your life or a new project. And that is gonna be super powerful for you. It's like you have 
all this knowledge and wisdom and you're applying it to something like, let's say you have a job. It's like you're applying everything you learned, but now maybe there's like a better job that you're going to be applying it to, or maybe you're going to start your own business or, you know, something like that. So I really see that with the Ten of Wands. It's like you're earning something for the all the years of hard work that you've been doing. And it looks, um, looks amazing here, Aries. You have this uh, in the area of what's coming towards you. You have the Shining Through card and this Roots of Abundance card. So again, I feel like something is capturing your attention with that Shining Through card. It's like something is standing out to you. Again, the, the tower is a light bulb moment. And you know, I feel like whatever this is, is going to be a very abundant situation for you. There's definitely love here, so it could be love. But again, I kind of feel this reading is a little bit bigger picture than just love. I feel that you've been working on multiple areas of your life and you've been hoping for improvements. And it's like now you're getting better, you're getting better results based off the work that you've been doing. And I, that Roots of abun Abundance card is amazing. It says that you are attracting more abundance into your life. You have the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Four of Pentacles is a card of stability. And again, the tower gets reduced down to its foundation. The Four of Pentacles is a foundational card. So it says that you are starting something from a new foundation. And I would, again, use your t talent, gifts, skills, and abilities with the Ten of Wands. Even though that's not really what the Ten of Wands represents, that's what I'm getting intuitively. Is like the Ten of Wands is you're carrying all those responsibilities and burdens. You've learned a lot from those things that you've been carrying. And now it's time to build something new on top of this new foundation. And that's what you're doing. Very clear. Uh, you have the Eight of Wands. So again, I feel like there's something is happening very quickly for you. Uh, this could be a quick conclusion with the Tower and or, you know, but it's like a quick conclusion with a quick success. Like I said, that's why I said it seems to me like you're going from, you know, one job to another really quickly and maybe you just got the job or you're going from one relationship to another very quickly, but it's not like you're doing it too quick. It's not like you're just jumping into another relationship just to be in a relationship. I feel like you're doing this for a certain reason or you're doing this, um, you know, you're doing this for a reason. Let's put it that way. Uh, Eight of Wands is, you know, quick movement as well. So again, I think something's happening very quickly for you. The Eight of Wands is also communication. And if you want love uh, this way, this could be you communicating with a new person or you could be receiving communication as well. Again, a person could be reaching out to you or uh, talking to you. You have the four wands and the four wands, a card of marriage. So again, if you want love, definitely could be marriage coming in for you. The four wands also is kind of like commitment and committing to new things. I feel that for those of you that like have a business or maybe you have a YouTube channel or something like that, I feel like you are doing things that are really going to, you know, solidify your success. It's like you're doing things that are kind of like setting you apart here is what I feel. Although I don't really see a card that says that other than you have that electric gale spirit says bring your ideas to life and the tower. So I kind of get this feeling that you could be doing things that only like you can do. And that could be making you more unique in what it is that you do, like your business, your career. And because of that, it's almost like you're um, making yourself unfireable, you know, or you're making, you're kind of really cementing your position. Uh, I also feel like you could be like diversifying your income, which could make it a little bit better for you, um, you know, as far as success is, is concerned. And also it's allowing you to be more successful. You know, there's like a theory of economic mass. I've talked about it before, but the theory of economic mass is if, like if you invest $100 into an investment and I invest a million dollars into investment and it only goes up by 10%, it's like you're only making $10, I'm making $100,000, right? And, and so the ec economic mass, that's why, you know, the rich get richer, right? But I get this thing here where it's almost like you have developed mass in some area of your life. It's like your the amount of energy you put into things is worth more, you know? So it's like your results, even though, you know, even if there's competition in like what you're doing, it's like your results are more. And I feel like that's what's causing this growth. With the, I hope that makes sense. Probably not. <laughs> With the four of pentacles, you have the wheel of fortune. I think for a long time, you've been trying to change your fortunes in work. So you've been trying to find improvements or you know better ways to make money. Uh, we've talked about this quite a bit and I do feel like your fortunes are changing clearly. With the Eight of Wands, you have the Judgment card. Uh, this is very powerful. Uh, judgment and Tower together is like a major wake-up call. It's a major revelation. So you are having like some sort of sudden insight this week that I would pay very close attention to here, Aries, because it seems to me like it's something that is, you know, 
going to be very successful. <laughs> it could be something that really changes your fortunes. So I would pay attention to any light bulb moments that you have at this time, and I would do them. Uh, with the four of wands, you have the five of cups. Yeah, I think you've been disappointed like everybody else. You know, everybody gets disappointed in love, but there's clearly a very solid connection coming in for you if you want it. You have this happiness card and this diligence card. This is coming up in the area of your, uh, uh, the good stuff is what I'm trying to spit out here. So happiness is a re the result of achievement. And I feel for a lot of you that this, the diligence card is saying you need to make sure that you continue to do things that bring happiness into your life. Again, we don't get just get to be happy. Uh, we have to do things that make us happy. And I feel like that, I do feel like you're doing that, showing up in the good stuff. You have the page of wands. Page of wands literally moves towards his happiness. He moves towards joy uh, and his desire. And also he follows his enthusiasm. So if there are things that make you feel more that way, then I would do more of those things. Could be hobbies, um, you know, ha habits, things that you enjoy doing. So I would make sure that you're doing like a good balance of things that make you feel happiness. Uh, I also feel that you could be attracting a person that makes you more happy. Again, I don't think anyone can make us happy. And I don't. I also don't think we should necessarily be with people just because they make us happy, right? <laughs> we have to make ourselves happy. And you know, the second something happens to this person, they don't make you happy, that's where the problems start, right? So, but, but what I would say is, again, I think you are attracting maybe a person who is also focusing on their own happiness. So it's like by default, maybe it's a little bit contagious and it also makes you do more things that make you happy. So there's like a big difference there. It's like you're not being with this person because they make you happy. It's just maybe a little bit of a side effect of being with this person, uh, which of course, you know, surrounding yourself with positive people is always a good idea. I also feel that you have a choice. The lovers traditionally was a card called the choice. And you have a choice here between maybe your old life right here, judgment, or something new like is a new light bulb moment. These people in the judgment card, they are standing in these coffins. The coffin represents their old life. Outside the coffin represents their new life. So again, I feel like you have a, a decision to make. And obviously, I would start working on whatever this light bulb moment is. It's like maybe you have a sudden idea to you know start a podcast or you know do something else with your life. I would do it, whatever it is. It could also be a hobby. It could literally be anything. But if you have any sudden ideas, it looks like those are the things that are changing your fortunes. Uh, you have the temperance card. Another card of turning one thing into another. Uh, so temperance is like uh, trying to turn water into wine with those two cups. So I feel for a lot of you that you could be doing things to improve your situation in life. You could be doing things to grow, to be more successful, you know, all that other stuff. So I really like this for you. I feel like you're also kind of more uh, positive. I always say with the temperance card, we can turn a negative into a positive or we can turn a positive into a negative as well. So I would make sure you're focusing on happiness, but it looks like you are. Uh, here you go. With the page of wands, you have the uh, lovers. I'm wondering if this is a side effect. You know, I'm wondering if love is coming in for you because you are choosing to be more happy, if that makes sense. And because of that, you're attracting like a happy person, right? It's almost like you are going on this journey with the page of wands or you're maybe living your life or doing your own thing, enjoying yourself. And because you're doing that, you're actually attracting someone who also does the same thing. With the temperance card, you have the six of pentacles. Yeah, I would like start slow. Like if you are meeting a person, six of pentacles is equal give and take in the good stuff. And it would also just say, you know, invest a little energy, see what happens, see if they return the favor. You know, if they do keep going, I always say like the easiest way to know if you should be with a person or not is if you put a little bit of energy in, do they return the favor? And if they do, then keep going and keep investing more. And if they keep investing more, and as long as there's like good equal give and take, then you know, keep going. If things change, then there needs to be a talk, right? There needs to be some sort of communication. If we follow that rule, we won't have any problems. Uh, if we don't, then that's where we run into problems. If we're not communicating, you know, if we're not investing intelligently in the connection, then, you know, if we're over investing, uh, that's where all the issues uh, kind of come up there. With the lovers, you have the fool. Yes, <laughs> uh, this looks amazing. I, I like I love this row right here. I feel like you're taking a leap of faith on a new a new choice, a new decision in your life. And it could be kind of sudden. Uh, you could also, you know, again, maybe you just got out of a relationship and you're getting into another one. And maybe people in your life are like, wow, that was quick, right? Or maybe people in your life are like trying to figure out why you're making changes so quickly. But, you know, as I always say, if it works, it works. So I would just, you know, keep doing what you're doing here. 
You have this Lily card, it says spiritual love on it. That could be why it's moving quickly, or it seems to be maybe moving a little bit faster than what you're used to as far as love is concerned. It's probably just like a very strong spiritual connection. I also feel like you feel more fearless with this person. We, we see a lot of this fearless energy. Queen of Wands, the Badger Spirit says, be fearless, be bold. The Page of Wands, these are energies of just, you know, trusting. And I don't think you're just trusting though. It's like there's evidence. Six of Pentacles says, trust the evidence. If you put work in and they do, then, you know, it's probably pretty safe to be in the connection. You have this yoke card, it says feeling tied down and frustrated. Mm, I feel like you want faster results, but you're, it, it is like you are getting faster results here. Maybe this is how you felt for a long time. Like let's say things have kind of plateaued in your life. Things are just the same. I think there's a change coming for you. Uh, you have this crib card, it says birth, of a, uh, birth or conception of a child or an enterprise. So definitely birthing something new. I, again, I think also, you know, again, if you have a business already, I think you could just be getting an idea that really for wants, it, you know, really creates structure in what you're doing. So it's not like you're changing your business or your job. You don't necessarily have to do that. Uh, you could just be doing things that make it sturdy. Uh, you have this turkey card. It says someone is behaving stupidly. I would be careful of any of the turkeys in your life, of course. You also have this teardrops. It says great personal sorrow. I feel like this is all about to change. You know, if you've been feeling this way, sad, depressed, whatever. Uh, but th this is amazing reading. I love it. <laughs> so uh, I would pay attention to any sudden insights you have this week. But other than that, looks amazing. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.